Okay, <clears throat> and continuing with the mimer, it's based on a pasuk in Mishlei that says, "Misachekas he plays before him the tebel artsai." Tebel is two times in the gematria the word for arye, a lion, which represents two levels of arye, the arye of Chai Sakoidesh, and arye in the level of the oifan. What does it mean, the level of the chayos? So we explain that this is a reference to this, uh, the world of Yitzira where we have the six spheres that are embedded or nested within the level of Yitzira. And these are the six orders of the Mishnah. Like uh, it's quoted in other places in Hasidus, that the Mishnah, which is the very terse, just the laws, is a, quote, lower level comparable to the world of Yitzira in contrast to the Gemara, which is more fleshed out, which is more closer to the character of the infinite, which is embedded and nested in the world of Bria. So the Mimer continues, and it says that this is where we have logic and reason, like the world of Yitzira, which means art, it's more developed. And the Chayes HaKodesh is a love that is predicated on logic and understanding, like the roaring of the lion, because it rep- recognizes that Kodosh, Kodosh, Kodosh is Hashem, the Lord of hosts. How Hashem is Kodosh, he's separated and distinct. And from this level, we come to a distinction, a separate level, Kadesh and Mubdal, that's no longer describable under the category of element of worlds. And it produces an abundance of hosts and Hecholos, Tzavokos and Hecholos, that the world is filled with God's glory. And therefore, they all cry out in a loud voice because of this intense level of love from such an intense level of holiness that is drawn out from the point of his glory, from the Urain Saif that is higher than worlds, to give life to the worlds. And with all of this, he is Kadush and Muvdal, completely separated and detached, and not like the body that is invested within the soul, which is invested within the body. But the Yifanim, they are in the world of Asiya, where there is not this degree of understanding and this great grasping of the infinite light of Hashem like it is with the Chayas HaKodesh. And nevertheless, they too, Tumum Arashim, because of their innate, intuitive love for Hashem. And this is why it says that Mesachekes, there is this playing or joy, Bitevel, and again, that being twice Aryeh, the lion, because these two levels of Aryeh are the levels of this enjoyment or this playing, whether it's the level of Aryeh Chayes HaKodesh, or even if it's the, quote, lower level of the Aryeh, the lion, in the Eifanim, which is more of the world of Asir. That just as there are these two levels within Malachim, both Chais and Eifanim, so too there are two levels within the people down here in this physical world. There are those who contemplate the infinity of Hashem in the Shema. And they, as we understand that the word Shema means to comprehend uh, about the oneness of Hashem and Baruch Shein Kavad Mechus And through this, they come to fulfill the dictate of loving Hashem with all your heart and all your soul and speaking about it within it, within the words of Torah, with a total bitl. Like it says, I become the Mishnah that speaks through the words that are placed in my mouth. And these are the great Tamid Chachamim who engage in Torah and the Shisha Sidrei Mishnah that are in the level of Yitzira. And then there are those who are not quite scholarly. They have short knowledge. They don't have that capacity. They're engaged in business matters. This is more of the world of Asiya. And nevertheless, they too can cry out like the lion of the Oifanim through this simple understanding in the word of Echad that simply Hashem is exclusive. He is the only one. And based on this, we draw out this quality also of the Ahapte for all your heart, but both of you, Yitzharis. In each one of them, there is this innate love. And they merit to this through tzedakah, like it says, Misa, through your deeds, like it says, your deeds of tzedakah will bring peace. And through this, it causes that there is misachekes, there is this joy in this, this plane. That is the drawing down of this great alignment and joy from the highest of levels. Like it says, like the face reflects the water, so too the heart reflects the other. Because there are these two levels within other, because in the malachim, there is the face of the lion, and there is the face of man. And then there's a higher level of Adam Lamaila on the throne of Hashem. There is the vision of the human being. That is the 248 commandments and the 365 prohibitions regarding which it says, like the face reflects the water, to be this level of the panemius from below to above, to draw down the panemius elyoin, so too to draw down the lave of a person from the highest level on top of the throne, which is the character of Taita, the 248 oblig- obligatory mitzvah is to a person down here who is the character of human within the malachim, 
And this is what it means that he plays or enjoys the B'nai Adam. These are these two levels, the plural of man, that it should be drawn down again to reflect like the water reflects. And that's why it says, chasunosa, the day of your wedding is Matan Taira. The day of your wedding, this union where between giver and recipient, because everything that comes from above has its parallel down here in this physical world. Now there's an explanation on this. <clears throat> the passage that says, I will be with you like a nursemaid and um, I, I will constantly play with you. This, this um, passage from, uh, from Mishlei. Now, the idea of Sfira Sa'imer, which is the moichin, the intellect that is deriving its benefit from Hashem, called moichin di'inika, is the level of sweetening the gavudas. And it happens through the sweetening of the gavudas here, which is Eskafi and Eshapcha, because Klippa is rooted in gavuda. And therefore, to repress the Sitra Achra and to transform it from darkness into light is the sweetening of the gavuda. And Yaakov is chavel nacholosoi, that means like a marshal of a rope, that one side is tied above and the other down below, and through pulling on the bottom, you draw it down or it affects the above. So too, when we sweeten the gevuras down here in this physical world, we cause the similar parallel to occur in the spiritual worlds. What is this a reference to? So we say, what is the mituk? What is the sweetening that the gevuras themselves should become sweet? Just like the example of sweetening food. Now, what happens when we take very spicy food, hump something that's very vinegary, and we spice it, and we, we transform the food that it becomes sweet. I'm sorry. It becomes sweet as well. So the food itself that was once very sharp has now become sweet. And therefore, it settles the soul, unlike something that would be too bitter, you couldn't even uh, finish it. So too, the sweetening of Gavuda, that these themselves become sweet, and then they become uplifted and, uh, and improved. And this is the idea of Moichendi and Nika, like the Gemara describes, that a nursing woman, her blood turns into milk, that the blood itself, which is the characteristic of Gavuda, becomes the nurturing milk. That is, Gevura turns into Chesed. And these are the 44 post-Pesach days of Svira, starting from the 7th of Pesach until Shavuos, because the 7th of Pesach is the birth of the Neshamas. And then you have this idea of the nourishing, the nurturing, which is the development of the Midas in the days between the end of Pesach and Shavuos. And this is what the Pasuk means in the parsha that says that they will wave the Omer offering that it should be desirous for you, that is the ultimate objective, is to transform our own Ratzin and our Midas of our Nefesh Bahamas, that they should be directed towards Hashem, and then they are praiseworthy, they are, in that sense, even superior to the Nefesh HaLakis, regarding which the Rabbanon say that when it says something is toiv, this is a reference to the Yitzhar toiv. But when it says that something is toiv ma'oi, this additional level of toiv is a reference to the Yitzhar Haro when it is transformed into the service of Hashem. For this reason, we say that where the Baal Tshuva stands, even the perfectly righteous cannot stand because Tshuva is for Avedas. It's not only for Avedas, but it has to be within every person. They have to be in this constant <clears throat> direction of Tshuva to come closer to Hashem face to face. And through this, they transform the Ratzin and the Midas from a characteristic that is called Yesh. And the reason for this is that through clarifying the Midas of the Nefesh Bahamas, we call him Toiv Ma'oid because the Midas of the Nefesh Bahamas from their very identity, are very strong and overpowering, even more than that of the Nefesh HaLakis. They have this raw animalistic character, like the superiority of the strength of an animal over a person. However, when it's in the person, that characteristic that's, sorry, that's within the animal can also be within the person. And when a person is able to harness that, he has this far greater strength because it's rooted in the face of the lion, the face of the ox, as is described in the vision of Yechezkel, that the love and the fear are, are so much greater, like the Zohar says, that there are 370 lions that surround that lion, and that lion is in the middle, and when he roars, the heavens themselves shake, which again further underscores that when we can harness the power of the Nefesh Bahamas and the Yitzhahara, we achieve something far superior to the, di the directed efforts of the Nefesh Elikis alone and the, nef and, and the, nef uh, the Yitzhahara.
Similarly, also in this world of Tikkun and orderliness, the root of the Midas is higher than Seichel. Because Abba and Ema, your parents, are Tali and your Mazel. No one you don't get to choose them. However, your Midas, you do get to direct them and shape them and manifest the way in which they express themselves. Like a son that even though he grows within his mother and he's born from her, still his identity is taken from something higher. And that's why sometimes the son can even outpace the father. Because even in the level of za of Tikkun, and certainly in the beer of the Midas from Toyu, when a person clarifies from the Shvira, that is the, the godliness that is scattered over the world, he finds an even more profound power. And this is the Mituk HaGvudas, the sweetening of Gavuda, and this is why it is Lord Sein Chem for your uh, desire. And who sweetens them? This is the quality of the chasadim, the five chasadim that are from chesed of chesed, all the way through chesed of chod, because the chasadim are rooted in, in Yesod, and Malchus are included within the five chasadim of the more general sense. So in a certain sense, we can, they only manifest themselves down to hoid, whereas Yesod and Malchus are still subsumed within the general idea of the hei chasadim. And these are the five days of Svira before Shvi Yishal Pesach, what we call basically Cholomoid, the first day of Pesach, Pesach is the Moichen of Abba and Ema, the source of the Midas. Hashem takes us out of Mitzrayim. And that's why we say complete Halel. Whereas the second day of Pesach, when we start to, ca- start to count the Sfira, so now we have the character of Midas, and therefore, at least in Eretz Yisrael, we don't say whole Halel on the second day of Pesach. Now by Shvi Yishal Pesach, which is the birth, of the Nisham into Bria, where there is now the opportunity for it to be hijacked by something antagonistic. And that's why we have to sweeten those Gavudas through Miskafi and Ashapcha, that a person has to start to work on his Midas. So he's got a five day head start before the Shvi Yishal Pesach when he's still at that level of Atzilis, like we experience in that level of Cholomoid, where it says that evil cannot touch. And these are the five days of the five Chasodin that's, that are now. Uh, strengthen the person so he can go out and fend off the Gvudis once he is outside of the isolation and incubation of the chesed of those five days immediately following Yitzhiya Smitzrayim. Now, Svira Sohimer is the idea of Moichim Dinikara nourishing, for example, like the milk that, that nourishes the physical body of the child. So, to the Midas are still in their developmental stage, like they are in Toyo. They're just little ideas. And through the milk, they become expanded and develop like a child. That these are the seven midas that become the seven weeks. Each one of them subsumed of seven days. And within each meter, there are seven days. This is that expansion. And through this, it becomes a keli to receive the breadth and depth of Taita, which is what the Pasuk says, again, in Mishle, that I will be with him like a nursemaid and I will play with him. And this is that idea that I will play with him as we understand what David HaMelech writes in Tillim. Zmirus ha'ili chukecha, your chukim were like music to me. And he's punished for this. And we explain first by introducing the idea of the Orin Seif Baruch. Now, we see down here that the Taina gives the most profound of all of our powers. That's what drives everything. What will give us Taina? Not fleeting sensory uh, pleasures, but true Taina. And this is the source and, and life force behind everything we do. Like we see the, the intensity of Tainig. There's a Tainig of vision, looking at beautiful art, Tainig of Shmiel, listening to beautiful music, Tainig of aroma, smelling something very beautiful, of speech and of logic. And within each one of them, there is an infinite number of Tainugim. There are so many different Tainugim. Each one is different than the other because they all come from another Tainig. Then there are spiritual Tainugim, like the Tainig of Seichol, the Tainig of Chachma. So the Tainig down here is so intense and it is abundant of all levels. So too, the Tainig in this world in general is only from a remnant of what has fallen to us from the Psalis from above. And it's incomparable to the Tainig of Olam Hazet, to the Tainig of Ganed and Matachta in the highest of highest levels, like it says in Kohelas. But the Oren Seif is called the source of all Tainug. That is the light and the radiance of the uh, infinite light. It's not the essence because that's a, and you can't describe it all. It's here we're talking about an aura that shaykh to be the mocker of Tanugim. And its revelation of Chachma is called Eden. Through this intense tzimtzum, in order that there be this revelation of Chachma, which is the source of the Hasagas of the Neshama, which is incomparable 
there has to be first a tzimtzum. And through this, it transforms from character to character that the tainig that is revealed in Chachma is different than the original Makara tainig. But it's, it's more comparable to the hairs of the head that come from the brain, which is only something very shallow called maestris, that you could even cut it off, of course, and it doesn't hurt in contrast to a piercing in the head, which would, of course, be terminal for the animal. Why? Because the hair that comes from the gulgailus, from the skull, that only surrounds the brain, and therefore it can be cut. Similarly, the idea of kesser that sits on top of the head, which is called the crown, that invests within it this infinite light of Hashem, from whence it draws out the situs and the mazolais, but the level of tiny alien that's invested within it is the level of Ein Saif that is higher than the kesser, and even higher than the skull. And this idea of Kesser is the 620, that's the gematria of Kesser, pillars of light, which are the 613 Torah mitzvahs and the seven rabbinic mitzvahs comparable to the Ratzon of mitzvahs, which is the Kashem's Ratzon, the Ratzon is the expression of the Tainug. That's the quality of the Gugulusa, of the skull that surrounds and covers, clothes the Panemius, which is called At comparable to a person who has a rutzen to go to a certain place in order to do business. The rutzen is only the expression. The panim is the ultimate objective is that he should make profit. So it's true, he wants to go to the market. That rutzen, what he wants to do is driven by the tainig of what he's looking for, which is the profit. And similarly in Atik, which is this highest level of Hashem's ultimate purpose, the panim is how rutzen of mitzvah is. The rutzen is the expression called the skull that dresses up and conceals that we shouldn't, we have to sort of play it close to the vest, like we would say, like the idea of being quiet and allowing Hashem's will to be manifest, from whence we draw out this ha'ara through the tzimtzum to be invested within something comprehensible called chachm. And this is why we say with a yud, the world was created, this is the characteristic of the hair, like the father that uh, derives its nourishment from the mazel. And therefore, it is not of the very essence of this tiny. And this is why we say, he creates the holy things that praise his name. Shmoy, his name is the Gemat Shev That from here, we receive the, all of the levels of Kedoshim, which is the Chachman that is called Kedosh. Now, David praised Teda in the level of it being Ratzon Elyain, called Zmirais like a person sings a song continuously because he loves it so much. Similarly also is this virtue of Ratzana Elya and it's one song, which is the praise that includes all the mitzvahs. They are all his Ratzai, but he should be celebrating in the Zemer from the abundance of good because this Ratzai that is higher than the Chachm and the reasoning till it reaches the level of one hair that is drawn out from Ratzai, is called the level of Maz, from whence we derive all of the worlds, the higher, the lower Ganadin, regarding which it says it's better to be judged, and the, and the higher Ganadin to the highest of levels, even to the level of Chachmila. And therefore, we say regarding the Chukim, that they are mitzvahs without any explanation, that is, all mitzvahs are called Chukim, because there is no comparable understanding of the true uh, reason. They are only like music. They are so precious since they are the Ratzon of Hashem. And from one hair alone, it draws out all of the wisdom and all of the Tainugim of the Eilamai, Satsila, Spri, Yitzir, and onwards. Turns out that when David praises the mitzvahs more than he praises the Ganed Ne'elya and the Tainug of the Neshama, that this is again comparable to only one hair that is drawn out from the Ratzon and the Kasser of Chachmila, the source and the root of Ganeiden. And this is what he prays is the level that it is the Ratzon Elyon itself. However, from all of this, David is punished because the Mila is not from the Bechina Chetzenius, that the Chetzenius is Ratzon Elyon and the skull. And he should have praised Torah in its most essential, that it is the Tanig Elyon that it is higher than even the Ratzayin Helion. Again, Ratzayin being the action of the Tainan, because the Ratzayin is the source of that which is manifest. And from this level of the Pneumius, there is a particularism in every specific mitzvah. And it's not just like one continuous song. And this was what was revealed in Matan Taira, that it says face-to-face did he speak, that it was a revelation of the Pneumius of mitzvahs, that this is the level of Tainan Helion of that letter. 
and that word, that commandment, that dibor. And that's why the neshama is left by every word, that every dibor was a revelation, not just of that particular commandment, but of the oinik ha'etzim. And this revelation that we had of the panim el through it being from below, there was this idea of the turning away of the face, through the seven weeks that we went out of Mitzrayim until Mat and Taira, which this is the idea of the seven weeks of Svidus Oima, where we transform the essence and all of our midas that they should be directed exclusively to Hashem. And that evoked the Kamayim Apanim Lapanim, the reciprocal, because according to what we show, that's what's shown back to us. Similarly, now it says in Mishlei, I will be with you as this joy day to day through reading the Shema with a total devotion of self and every day that we draw down this tiny. And it invests in the Netzalim in Kesser and Chachma. And these are called day by day that we start to put the particulars. And this is what we say that I am Torah that you have longed for, that in order for it should be Torah, that it should be my, that which I make, that I should invest the Tainig Elyon in the Rutzen Elyon. Again, Tainig is the driving force, and Rutzen is the action item. This is what we call Google Isa, the skull, and the Chachmi Law, we call it Aiden. This is through the beginning of that Pasuk, Ani, I, that is. That when I become Ani, Ani being I in a total bit of through this he draws out the Shashuyim in this pleasure. And the source of all of Taito, the basis of all of Taito is bit yesh la ayin. That when a person takes an esrog for a mitzvah, it has the quality of ayin and the 248 mitzvahs, the 248 limbs, like the, the, the limb through which it extends the highest of the nefesh, and the nefesh receives from it. Because if not for this limb, the nefesh wouldn't have anything to do. So too, by the mitzvahs, it becomes a bitala yesh to the ayin. And through the bitala yesh, he is ma'ir la the giloi of the ayin ha'el yayin. This is that level of tainig ha'el yayin, that it stands before him as everything as naught. Because whatever a person is mavatal himself, it's not yet emes. But it, until he draws down the gili ha'ayin. And this is that I long for him day for day. That every day the person transforms from the yesh into an ayin anew. And this level is through, achieved through the, the Mesiris Nefesh of Kriyashma. Ois Gimel. It says, Mesachekes Lafana Becholeis. He plays before him at every time. Now, there are two times. Like we know, there are two different times in Malchus. There are times when it's face to face, and times when it's up to the chest of Zah, and times when it's only in the Kudah Tachasai Yisoy. That is, that sometimes it's the source of the Neshama of the Jewish people. This is the Panemius of Hashem. And sometimes it's like the back, like it says, in Kohel, it's a time to embrace and a time to distance from embracing. Because my right hand, I draw you close, like it says. That through this, we cause it to be face to face. And sometimes there is distance that the chasadim are concealed in the Yisoyed Ema. They are not revealed, but they are hidden within Bina. And regarding this, it says that he will spread over them the Sukkah of peace, the phrase on the Sukkah Shleimecha, and this is what we ask that the right hand should bring us close to you, that the chesodim should come out of their um, embeddedness within the mother, the level of Tater Shabal Peh, that we flesh it out where the light that was hidden, that it becomes the right hand that makes strength, that we draw out the godliness and that which is otherwise concealed. And regarding these two times, it says, Misachekes, it's like playing. That in every single Jew there is this quality of Mesir Nefesh, this willingness and this desire for Hashem. Sometimes it's hidden in the back, but sometimes it's more to the fo- front. Nevertheless, it is always constant that a person can serve Hashem with this level of Mesir Nefesh for Echa. And therefore, this that there is joy and laughter from Bitla Yesh to Ay. Through this, we arouse the revelation of this divine joy in Kesar and Chachma. And here it explains in the bracket that Tzchayk is the Indian of revealing the tiny, like a person laughs. And like it says in Eitz Chayim, in the, the discussion about the expression of the Moichin, that Tzchayk is the Gematria two times or light. And Viahaft is also two times light. And two times light is the idea of Zamti Kach Koi. That is the 24 letters that are in the Pasuk of Baruch Shenko and Mechus Yilam Void of the Krishma in the morning and the evening. Like we said, that through Bitla Yefsh and Mesiris Nefesh of Kriyashma, we draw out the Tanig Elyon and the Shaykh. And we see also the two times that it says 24 in Ashish Chayil, uh, regarding which uh, we understand that Yemin Hashem, from the right hand of Hashem, do we create the strength. And now it says regarding Torah, Mesachek Eslefana Bechol Eis, 
And in the time of Mashiach, it says, oh, is then Yamalis Chaykin. That Chayk is like the Cheshman of the source of life. Like it says, with you is the source of life. And this is also the Cheshman and the Gamash of Orin Soif. That through the revelation of Orin Soif Baruch, we draw out this Tainig Elyu, which is the source of all life, the source of Tainig. And the revelation of Tainig, and this is the idea of Simcha and Chayk. The Sachek is Betevel Artsai. The earth is the footstool. This is the level of Malchus. And table Artsai is table base is twice Arye. Table a pile, Arye, the line twice. And twice also the word for Yidah, that is, then the Chayas and the Irfanim, the Arye, that roars. And through contemplating his braininess, how Hashem is detached and he's not invested within the soul, uh, not like the investiture of the soul and the body. And these two levels exist within the Jewish people. There is the Nefesh of Asiya, and then there's Ruach of Yitzira. And regarding both of them, there is Mesachekes, this sense of playing or joy, that both of them create a Shaykh Lamayl. And in the Yitzchayim, it also explains that, that, that Tevel is two times Reish Yud Vav, and it alludes to the lost Yitzchayim's levels. And there's also this drawing down through Serusa de la Sata, these, le- be- these two levels of Aryeh, and this is Mesachekes with Tevel Aryeh, that there was this playing, that from this level of Esrusa de la Sata, Tevel Arza, within the Jewish people, we draw out the level of Shaykh and Tainug, which is the source and root of the Tainug uh, above in Eitz Chaim and in the pre Eitz Chaim.